Yo, yo, guys, welcome back in today. And today we have a very special episode. We're actually inside of the only Moroccan food truck in Columbus, Ohio, maybe in Ohio. So this is Moroccan street food we have today, guys. The owner is an amazing person. You should definitely come down here and check him out. And we're gonna try Moroccan food again. You know, on the channel, we've had Moroccan food before, North African food. You know I've been craving it. And for you guys, with the blessings of the owner, I got to try some of this street Moroccan food, food truck Moroccan food. So straight from the food truck today, guys, we have this food that I've been wanting, traditional Moroccan food I've been wanting for so long, you don't even understand, like, yo, like, praise the most high for letting me get this now. But we're gonna try first the stuffed grape leaf, and it's a grape leaf on the outside, and it's stuffed with seasoned rice. So that's what we're gonna have today. Sort of looks like this. I mean, let's see if we can get that in there. There we go. Look how beautiful that looks. The grape leaf with rice, seasoned rice stuffed inside. Let's just go ahead and get right into it. You know what we're about to do. Let's get this. Yo, Moroccan grape stuffed leaf. Okay guys, we have first, there's a nice texture to the grape leaf. It's a little bit chewy. The rice season, not too seasoned, seasoned perfectly. It has a, a, a nice texture to it. The rice is very like, sort of creamy. It's like a creamy taste. Man, hold up. <laughs> it's got a nice creamy taste to it. And it just sort of melts in your mouth. You taste the grape leaf. And on the outside, you have a little bit of oil. Just this nice oil that makes everything slide down your throat a lot easier yo Moroccan grape leaf huh so let's have another one guys cuz you know you know I gotta taste and make sure I know everything that's in the food that I'm eating but it's delicious now I also taste a little bit of lemon I'm pretty sure on the outside it's olive oil and lemon the owner told me that it was lemon as well so I can definitely taste the lemon man Moroccan people you eating like this every day delicious I don't even know what to call this it's like a mm, it's like a leaf with rice and you would think that a leaf with rice like would that be delicious yes it would be delicious I'm here to tell you it would be delicious yo guys sorry that was just too good now we're gonna move on to the Moroccan Brussels sprouts now with the Moroccan Brussels sprouts, you guys know I'm vegan, so I, I don't eat meat, I don't eat cheese. And so as you see, you can get it prepared where there's Brussels sprouts, it actually has cheese, and it also has grapes, green grapes. But today, I just got the Brussels sprouts without the cheese, because like I said, I, I don't eat dairy products and I, I don't eat meat. So let's go in for these Moroccan Brussels sprouts. I've had Brussels sprouts before, of course, but I've never had Moroccan style Brussels sprouts. So we're just gonna go in and see how this tastes. Moroccan Brussels sprouts. <laughs> mm. Nice texture. The grapes go well with it. Not too chewy. Chewy enough. Nicely cooked. Wow. Mm. Now I don't eat cheese, but I used to eat cheese. And I can understand how this with green grapes and also with cheese, how that would be delicious. Traditional, healthy, what's up? Mmm. Mmm. The one thing that I noticed about a lot of Moroccan food is that it's very healthy, it's very light, and also there's a nice play with seasoning and oil and using everything that comes from North Africa and comes from the Mediterranean area and sea and ocean right there. And you can taste it in the food. It's a very tropical food. It's a very Mm, how can I say this? It's like a very 
clean meal. When you eat a Moroccan meal, it's going to be clean. Everything's clean. And I really look for something like that in the foods that I eat and I try. Moroccan Brussels sprouts, let's do it again. <laughs> wow. Now, the flavor profiles of Moroccan food, like I've told you guys this before, it always goes hand in hand. There's never an overpowering flavor, but all the flavors, they work together. They work together to make this symphony of food. They work together to satisfy your stomach. They work together to make you happy and just make you happy. I don't know what to say. <laughs> yeah, Moroccan people, you living. Let's go on to the next thing. So the next thing we're gonna go to, we're gonna actually go to the Moroccan salad. Uh, the Moroccan salad has tomatoes, different assortments of vegetables in it, cucumbers, I think a little bit of peppers if I'm correct, um, onions. It's a very tropical dish. Let's go in for it right now. Moroccan salad. Some salads you eat, you have to eat the whole salad before you feel like you've really accomplished something in your body with this. This is more based off of like a vegetable type salad. So heavy tomatoes, you know, like I said, cucumbers, onions, but in that way, it makes it more of a fuller salad, right? It, it, you don't have to work as hard or eat as much to feel like you're getting fulfilled. Mm. Great, amazing food, I'll tell you. Look guys, if you haven't had Moroccan food, especially Moroccan food truck food, street food, come down here and see my brother. He's a great brother. He has a food truck, actually has two food trucks. And yo, this is exclusive right here. This is like the first time in Columbus and maybe in the state of Ohio, Moroccan food truck, what's up? You know how we do guys. Mm. This is just the first course that I have. I'm gonna try some other Moroccan food. I'm gonna to move to the other truck. And once I move to the other truck, we're gonna try something else. Yo guys, stay tuned. Man. Mm. Okay guys, so we're in the second food truck, the Moroccan, actual Moroccan street food truck. And the first dish we're gonna try in the second truck is taktuka. And it's an assortment of vegetables. And it has tomato, green pepper, garlic, and cilantro. So let's go ahead and do this, guys. Let's try it right now. I'm actually gonna take a little bit of the bread, flatbread. Let's try it. <laughs> the first thing that I get, it's a colder dish. It's delicious, it's fulfilling. It almost sort of reminds me of a very healthy salsa. That's sort of kind of reminds me of. Really delicious. You taste the cilantro. That's the first thing that I taste. The garlic comes on as well. Um, you guys know that I like to eat things with my hands, so I'm using the bread to actually sop it up, sort of kind of like injera. And I love the way that this is tasting right now because on a day that you have a long day and you need something to eat and you need something on the go and you need something that can fill you up, I'm pretty sure that this is a very healthy alternate if you need it. Let's go in for a second bite. And again, we have that constant flavor profile. The oil, the olive oil is always there. Very heavily used in the Moroccan culture. 
very delicious. The garlic. It's interesting with the garlic. So for people that don't like garlic, this is actually not too garlicky at all. I love garlic myself. I've told you guys before many times. I love garlic. Matter of fact, the more garlic, the more better. But the way that it's cooked with the olive oil, with the Moroccan sauce, it's perfect. Let's go in for it. Let's go in for a little bit without the bread so we can really taste the flavor profile of it. Wow. <laughs> hmm. Mm. I wish I could explain it to you guys. I, I, the closest thing, if you never had this dish before, which I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have, unless you're from Morocco, it's a it, it tastes to me, and I, I don't mean this with any disrespect, but just to let you guys sort of kind of understand the profile of it, it's sort of like a healthier salsa, a thinner salsa, but it's obviously a Moroccan traditional dish. Wow. And it's amazing for me because you guys know I'm vegan. So the more veggies, the more better. Moroccan dishes have you covered, of course. There's plenty of veggie dishes that you can pick if you don't eat meat. And if you do eat meat, or if you do eat both, which if you do eat meat, I definitely suggest you eat vegetables as well, then you can have this as well too. Mm. And it makes it even amazing that we're in the back of a food truck <laughs> eating this traditional dish as well. Where can you do that at? Mm. So guys, I'm going to finish this dish and we're going to go on to the next one. Okay guys, so the next one we have is Zalouk. And Zalouk has eggplant, garlic, and cilantro on it. And it's cooked in extra olive oil, virgin oil. And also it is cooked with Moroccan spices. So let's try this out. Similar looking, uh, except for there's eggplant. And let's try it out right now. Okay. A little bit thicker, right? Let's go. Zalouk. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> so guys, initially, hold on. Initially, a little bit thicker. Eggplant, we know eggplant. Eggplant is a little bit thicker vegetable. Very good. Actually, I feel like you can taste the garlic a little bit more on this dish. The cilantro hits good right on top. You know how we do. So we did it with the bread. Let's try it by itself without the bread, because I want to sort of kind of make sure the bread is not really blinding my taste buds right now. Let's try. Wow. So, the olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, you can definitely taste it when you eat it by yourself. It's actually good with the bread too, the flatbread, because the extra olive oil and then the Moroccan spices, it like softens the bread up a little bit and the bread sops up that sauce. You eat it, it's a chilled dish. The eggplant is thick, the cilantro is there. It's just a, man, for me being vegan, vegetarian, this is like a paradise for me right now. Hmm. Wow. Hmm. Now I can only imagine for the people that eat meat, Pairing this dish, or even eating this dish, maybe after or before. I don't really know how it's actually traditionally eaten, as far as the order of things. Or if it even is ever ate with meat in general. But like I said, it sops up the bread so much. I, I don't know if you guys can see this or not. Let's see if you can see this. We're going in for another bite, guys. Hmm. 
Can't believe people are living like this. I've been living wrong my whole life. <laughs> so, with these dishes, they're traditional dishes. This one is Aloop, and it's very good. He gave me a fork too, but you know, I like to eat with my hands, you know? I feel like things taste better when you eat with your hands. And especially when you have a bread too. So we're gonna go in a little bit more for some of that sauce. The tomatoes too, and a little bit of the garlic. Let's, come on, let's just sop it up. <laughs> I have a good life, people. If my life ends up being, I eat Moroccan food for the rest of my life, it will be a good life. <laughs> and like I told you guys, we're actually in a Moroccan food truck right now in Columbus, Ohio, giving you the premiere first ever that I know of, could be wrong, but that I know of, Moroccan food truck. Or at least the only one that exists right now. So you guys, now we have the veggie couscous. The veggie couscous, as you know, couscous is uh, very popular, especially in all parts of Africa. Um, if you watch my other Moroccan video about me having couscous, but today we have a veggie couscous with huge vegetables, amazing vegetables, and we're going to get right into it. We're going to have some of the couscous first, and then we're going to have some of the vegetables as well. So I'm going to take you guys with me. I'm just going to hold the camera. It's a lot easier for me to do that right now. Let's go in for a bite of the couscous by itself, and then after that, we're going to try it with some vegetables too as well. So we're going in for the couscous. <laughs> This couscous is the real deal couscous. It's thick, not too thick, but thin. You chew a couple times, good taste, light, flavorful, hints of flavor here and there. Yeah, this is the real deal. Guys, if you've never had couscous, you definitely need to get have some couscous. I'm actually gonna try it with the vegetable fast, so let's do that together. Maybe I'll have some couscous and I'll just use my hand and we'll have a Brussels sprout together. Let's see how that tastes. Hmm. Delicious. So you have the couscous as a base, sort of like a rice. It's not a rice, but sort of like a rice. Then you have the Brussels sprout, a burst of sweetness, a little bit of tartness, vegetable, Delicious. <laughs> I feel like I'm rocking king right now, you know? So the thing that I love the most about couscous is that it's very light, but it's dense at the same time. So couscous is very healthy for you. If you don't know, I think I told you guys this on another video before. And this couscous is made in a very traditional manner, the most traditional manner that you can have. So when you come and you eat something like this, when you eat a dish like this, expect to get full, but also expect to feel good, to have a lot of energy after you get done. This is a very good dish if you're about to go do something really big, like, you know, go on a trip or you're about to be out all day. I would definitely suggest this dish. Very healthy, a lot of vegetables, couscous. Come on guys, we're not done yet. We're gonna go in for some carrots and couscous. And actually, the vegetables here are really big, so, don't worry about getting full because you will, you will definitely get full. Guys, we have some turnip too. Turnip? I've actually never had turnip. So we have turnip, couscous together. Let's go in for this right here. Wow. So the turnip melts in your mouth. Matter of fact, the turnip is gone before you can finish the couscous. Wow. Actually, to be honest with you, I think that's the first time I've ever had turnip before in my life. Let's do it again, one more time. Just wanna make sure I'm not I'm telling the truth about this. So guys, now we have the last dish. This one is called sefa, which is a sweet couscous dish. Um, and it has cinnamon, powdered sugar, almonds, and couscous. Really excited to see what this tastes like. I feel like this is uh, this is something I've actually never seen before. I never even thought it even existed in my mind. So let's go ahead and try this, guys. Let's get into this right now. 
Let's sit this down. Let's have a bite. Sit for. <laughs> what? This is Sifa. I never even knew something like this could even exist to be honest with you. It's so delicious. I gotta go in for another bite before I talk about this one. Mmm. So, you have the initial taste of cinnamon, right? You have the couscous. And at first, it's gonna be a little bit thick, right? But the more you chew, the more you taste, the thinner it gets. The powdered sugar comes on after that, like actual cinnamon and sugar on couscous with almonds too. Like, that's another thing I forgot to say. The crunch of the almonds, amazing. You guys know I love almonds. Crunch of the almonds, the cinnamon too. The cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon. Who doesn't love cinnamon? If you don't, well, you know, sorry for you, but it's delicious. Let's go in for another bite, guys. Wow. This is just something that I just never, it, this actually blew my mind because I never even thought of this combination. Never even knew this combination even existed. Um, what can I say? It's just, you have the cinnamon, you have the couscous. Like I said, a little thick, but amazing nonetheless. The more you chew, the less thick it gets. You have hints of sugar at the end, like the hints of sugar notes at the end. And it's just an amazing dish, guys. The almonds sprinkled on top. You actually, the almond sizes, or like, or the, the pieces of almonds are not that big. So you have like hints of almond here and there when you chew on them. But like I said, with all Moroccan food, there's always this constant balance of flavors. And there's always this care that's taken with the flavors in the food as well to not be overly spicy or not spicy enough or not have enough flavor or have too much flavor. It's just like a beautiful harmony and balance of food. And like I said, I tell you guys this all the time, with couscous, amazing. I know some of you guys actually eat couscous and you cook couscous and the ones that do, you probably continuously make it every day because I know in the last video you guys told me, oh, I make couscous every day because it's just that good. It's, it's, it's such a staple food and it's really, really good for your body. This is amazing food. I don't know what else I can say. I just never, I'm actually pretty surprised that this dish even exists. I didn't think that I was gonna have couscous with <laughs> with cinnamon and sugar and almonds today. I just, I really didn't. The more I get into the Moroccan cuisine, the more that I really see that I don't know as much as maybe what I even initially thought I knew, which is okay by me because I love learning new stuff and I know there's literally thousands of other dishes that I probably need to try. So this was the last dish today, guys. Like I told you guys before, please come out and check out the food truck. The Moroccan food truck is located in Clintonville, which is on the north side of Columbus, Ohio, right? Amazing food. I mean, so many different kind of dishes that you can have and come by and try his food, you know? And he also caters as well. And at the end of this video, I'll, I'll definitely show you guys a clip of his catering or him catering food for events. So if you're interested in that as well, I'll have his information at the bottom of this video. Please always like and subscribe, turn on the bell notification so you get all my videos. Add me on all social medias, which is Africa Network, which is Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud, Snapchat, and Facebook. Each one teach one, always love each other, always learn from each other, and always pass on information. And yo guys, keep eating. Peace, one love.